I'm here at the Cal UCLA game, Saturday, May 19th, next to last game of the season. I've got my camcorder with me, and I'm going to see if I can use it to record the speed of the pitch. I can use it to record both progressive and interlaced video. I first shoot some clips using the progressive mode. Measure speed, I switch to the interlaced mode. With this mode, I can show a single frame shot showing two images displaced in time by half a frame time, about one sixtieth of a second. All I need now is the linear scale, then division by the time gives me the speed. The baseball itself provides the scale. I assume it is three inches in diameter. A mark on the ground of known length would give greater accuracy. As you can see, you can use this technique for both left and right-handed batters by aiming ahead of the batter. I focused on home plate and used a fast shutter to get a good image of the ball. While this technique has some obvious advantages over a radar gun, it does not give an instant reading, but requires some computer editing. I've already reported on using this technique to measure the speed of a racehorse. It should also be applicable to measure the instantaneous transverse speed of other objects, such as cars, bicycles, or runners. you need is something to serve as the linear scale. Try it with your own camcorder next time you go to a sporting event. Incidentally, Cal lost to UCLA 8-5. to five.